wonderful. It was a wonderful presentation. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we are now moving ahead to the interview section of today's webinar. Today is our 12th webinar of the series. We are honored to have with us a very distinguished and senior scientist, Dr. Manoj Prasad. Sir, uh, you're a pioneer in your field of research. We would love to know how you started your career. Please tell us your journey so far as a plant scientist. So, uh, basically, uh, I, I was born in India district where uh, our uh, previous prime minister, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar, was uh, belong, and uh, mm -hmm. and. I just was born but brought up in Bengal. So my father was an uh, ICR scientist and uh, he actually um, uh, came from uh, UP for, uh, for such a job. And, uh, uh, and then uh, I was uh, totally uh, educated in Bengali medium. And, uh, and I started uh, Bengali speaking better than Hindi. So when I get married, my wife is scolding me that why you have changed your gender? Because in Bengali there is no gender, as you know. Jol khabo Whatever is in Hindi, well, they never uh, eat it, they drink it. So, but that is the thing I accept. But nevertheless, I I enjoyed my stay at uh, West Bengal, and I have a short corner for the West Bengal, and especially for my uh, district Nadia, from where I was brought. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I um, did uh, my uh, graduation from Rora Ramkrishna Mission because okay. I was trying try to study the uh, geology, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't get the seat for geology uh, because mm -hmm. you know that uh, for a 10 plus 12 student, uh, studying plant is very boring actually at that time. So this mm -hmm. is a common uh, thing. I, this is not hiding. I am also not hiding, but mm -hmm. I tried a lot. Uh, that I should stick to the geology because it is related to human and then you can correlate uh, most of the things. Mm. But uh, uh, after six months, I also got a chance, but my Maharaj, that Dibbananda, at that mm. time, mm. he uh, called my father along with me. And then uh, he told that, uh, he knows my father, so he told me, you are an agricultural uh, person, agriculture scientist, and you child is related to uh, showing interest in geology. Then he gave a very good example. But I told, look, if you are uh, studying botany uh, in plant science, then you can move to different branches like environmental, uh, forestry. But in geology, you will, you will be very confined to some specific area. So he convinced mm -hmm. me and my father that, uh, that uh, botany is a very good subject and you should keep uh, doing this. And that was the change in my life. Mm -hmm. And I stood the uh, university second actually on that batch, 92. Mm -hmm. batch. And then uh, mm -hmm. 94, I was admitted at Baligon Science College Botany Department. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after this, I, I was fortunate that uh, uh, Professor Arun Sharma and Archana Sharma, they taught us. And, and then I, I enrolled as a PhD student with Professor Rajesh Chaudhary at Botany, okay. but I was hmm. actively involved with Professor Arun Kumar Sharma for my work. And hmm. then um, in 1998, uh, once I submitted my thesis at Calcutta University, I was fortunate to join another uh, legend, Professor P.K. Gupta. Most of you have uh, re uh, yes. read his books in yes, yes. Elements of Biotechnology mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Genetics. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the year 1998, I joined Professor Gupta in wheat biotechnology project. So whatever I uh, knowledge, uh, because uh, in Calcutta University, in West Bengal research at that time, uh, in, in molecular biology, we were, we were the front runner because we had that Rockefeller Foundation uh, project from USA in Rice, and then uh, our lab was uh, most of the uh, Bose Institute and uh, Calcutta University labs are highly uh, actually well uh, infrastructure was well. So we have PCR at that time. Uh, nowhere you will get PCR and other uh, instrument to do molecular biology. So as a uh, molecular biology training, we get a very good training and we conduct training for the other people, parts of the different parts of India. And, uh, and, and then um, when I joined Professor Gupta's lab, uh, uh, the research associate for a wheat biotechnology program, 
and within two and a half years i have published more than 10 papers and that is in tag five of them are tagged at that time tag was the bible for all the breeders and the genetics so i got this humble fellowship uh, the, after two years and then i moved to uh, ipk card of in germany and there also i worked with uh, first i worked with uh, wheat with Marian mm -hmm. Ryder, and then second, I then I, I shipped to Barley uh, as a uh, postdoc mm -hmm. after finishing my humble fellowship. So mm -hmm. I spent three and a half years in Germany, and then uh, at one day I got a mail from Professor A. K. Sarmarun Kumar Sarva, my teacher from Calcutta, that there is one new institute known as National Center for Plant Genome Research at JNU campus, and Professor Ashish Dutta is the caretaker. He is uh, looking after it. Then he was, uh, at that time, he was uh, the vice chancellor of Jalalamed University. Mm -hmm. so if you are interested, you send your CV. I sent my CV. And then one day I got the interview call that uh, that I ha I was asked to, at that time, my wife was pregnant. So I told them that this is the case. How could I move? So they told me the, at that time, there is no online thing. So mm -hmm. that is another thing that uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the year 2000, there is no online. So uh, anyway, uh, so uh, I told my, my wife, told, no, no, you go and uh, just go and get the, give the interview and the night flight, you can come back. So I did the same way. I ca came here and then I uh, appeared in the interview and then I returned back. So hmm. uh, and after uh, seven, ten days, I got the, uh, the letter, hmm. appointment letter. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, story in nutshell. In 2004, I joined here. In, uh, at that time, it was NIPPR at JNU campus. And now it is National Institute, NIPPR. And the whole story starts from 2004 onwards. And uh, what I am today, due to this in excellent infrastructure and good scientific environment, which is present in this institute. And whosoever is coming as a student or a teacher, they are all excel if they have the willpower. Definitely, sir. So true. Mm, lovely. Your story was amazing. <laughs> sir, um, my next question is that uh, what role will foxtail millet play in global food security? Okay. So, uh, I can, I can, I can talk about that. Uh, Foxton millet, along with other small millets, has a collective role in securing not only food security, but multiple security. This includes food, nutrition, product, bioenergy, and biofuel. First, the millet were consumed by our ancestors, and it mm -hmm. is not new to us, so it has the potential to address food security. Second, mm -hmm. millets are six to seven fold nutritionally superior to major cereals and thus it can address the nutritional security. Third, millets are now majorly used as a feed for cattle, this is for the animal food. Mm -hmm. And it has been proven to be the best feed for fodder, as a fodder crop. Okay. Fourth, millets, particularly foxtail millet, are genetically close to biofuel crops like sweet grass, napier grass, etc. And these mm -hmm. millets also possess excellent biofuel trade. So that is the only reason why the American and the Chinese group have sequenced this, to, uh, this crop. And thus, mm -hmm. I strongly believe that harnessing millets would address multiple security. I hope I can answer this question. Yes, definitely, sure. Um, sir, my next question is that uh, what modern techniques uh -huh. should be implemented for future plant science research? So uh, modernization is already there in plant science research. Several techniques such as heat based and we have now sophisticated instruments to perform complex studies and analysis. So basic research has no issue with modernization. However, applied research needs the intervention of artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence-based tools are required for climate prediction, analysis of soil condition, insect pest, pest attack, more like an early warning system to avoid crop yield, so crop loss. So that's the thing that if we are moving towards the applied research, then artificial intelligence will play a big role in coming days. 
according to you which sectors of plant science research and agriculture will prosper in the near future so in research now people will look on to integrating genomic now the world has realized that focusing on one omics approach let it be genomics or transcriptomics or metabolomics etc will not produce or provide a clear picture so future research will involve all the holistic approaches to address scientific questions of nation and international importance in agriculture as i said the development of artificial intelligence based tools will take the stage in the coming year and we also look forward to such technology Breakthrough. All right, sir. Uh, now we'll conclude our uh, webinar and uh, also the interview uh, with uh, some words of advice from you to the young. Yes, I, I can give to for the young researcher who mm -hmm. are listening. So you people listen very carefully what I'm going to talk about. I always tell three important points to my students. Number one, if you are deserving, you will get what you want. No one can stop your success. So, if you are deserving, you will be the winner. Number two, three things: how to think, speak, and write cannot be taught. These okay. skills comes by rigorous reading and practicing. Only mm. those who master them will be successful. So, three things: think, speak, and write. These have to be developed by yourself. You cannot. Nobody can teach you. Right. If you can help someone. when they are in need of assistance then you should help no matter what without any thinking whether he you will get the feedback or not so you should help so you should be very positive in all that cases be positive you will get everything my own student who have followed these three are already successful murthy is one of them charulata is another and ashish is now doing navisha is also doing so he, These are the few example I can tell you that if you follow this, practice this rule, mm -hmm. I think you nobody can deter you for from success. But thing is this, you have to be patient. Don't right. don't utter any bad or mm -hmm. harsh word to anybody. Mm -hmm. Be positive. Okay. Yes, sir. The beautiful words of advice, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. It was amazing. It was wonderful to have you with us today. Now let's go back to Shuvo. Over to you, Shuvo. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.